Hello world and hello amazing Philippines. Good day. I hope you're doing good and of course feeling well. And today we're going to continue our lesson about of course module three and this is lesson number four and five that talks about technology collaboration tools and of course uh, digital literacy skills in the 21st century. Allow me to, of course, uh, share my uh, slide for this lesson, okay? So that's it, and uh, here we go, okay. Again, this is Sir A. Uh, wanted to say, of course, if you are not, uh, um, have not yet, probably subscribe with my YouTube channel, Okay, please subscribe. You can also like, click, and of course, uh, click like rather, and of course, share or heart this, of course, the video. So, how are you? I hope you're, of course, uh, doing good and, of course, feeling well. Okay, and uh, I'm happy again to share, of course, uh, this lesson to all of you. So again, this is technology collaboration, collaborative tools and digital literacy skills in the 21st century okay, learning. So we have here, of course, uh, uh, the notion about, of course, our teachers and mentors. No? Generally, okay, they use, of course, outdated or traditional education program, which is, of course, apl applicable to the learners in the past. And they fail to apprehend uh, that the new learners are okay, information technology or digital learners. They can probably be called, they can call us, be called as also digital natives, millennials, or net, the net generations. And uh, mind you, the new learners spend, of course, more time take, uh, talking to friends no, over the phone, sending text messages, interacting through the internet, social media. Okay. Facebook or playing video games and surfing, of course, the World Wide Web. So that's it. Okay. And uh, scientists now pointed out that we can have, of course, constructive benefits derived from the use of information technology or digital resources. Okay. And uh, of course, this counterbalance possible negative effects of technology on children. So in addition, daily exposure to high technology, personal computers like video games, gadgets, now cell phones, and internet search sites stimulates, of course, the brain by strengthening, take notes, strengthening, and creating neural circuits. So th that's the positive probably side of having the information technology or dig digital resources. Moreover, this current technological revolution is creating an intellectual revolution, no? faster and better than ever before. And knowledge is constructed uniquely and of course individually okay, in a variety of ways. And it is constructed through a variety of resource or resources, tools, contexts, and experiences. So the learners of this generation seem to thrive in collaborative learning. Okay, meaning there is collaboration, producing and of course creating something are what they prefer to do rather than become, of course, patrons of information inside a school room. So that's it. So if we're going to have, of course, the types of learning, it's active learning. So we have here collabor uh, collab collaborative tool, no? the tech as technology or the technology as the collaborative tool. So when we say, of course, collaborative technology, uh, this refers to the systems and tools designed to better facilitate group work. Okay, both in school, office, establishment, and remote. So also known as, of course, the group wear. So these pieces of technology trim, of course, the cost and time associated with facilitating the students or group work uh, from the site, designating, of course, the roles and responsibilities. Thus, of course, uh, when I say collaboration, okay, it's commonly defined as functioning or working with, no? Okay, another individual or group or in order to accomplish something. So with that, we can define collaboration tools as a technology tool that can be used, of course, to help individuals, even societies work together not to achieve a common goal or objective. So that's it. We collaborate in order to probably yeah, help each other and, uh, of course, achieve our goal or our objectives. Okay, there are actually... 
uh, available tools and applications that can be used not to work collaboratively with others. The first is, of course, Skype. I believe that most of you have already used Skype, no? It is a software application letting you to do video conferencing for free. And uh, the second is, of course, the wiki, no? It's a software that lets you to make a page or selection of pages designed to allow to post or write and even edit Okay, or upload the link quickly. So work can be extended virtually and asynchronously. And of course, so we have also blogging and blogging or web blog. So this is about journaling or ideas to which others can react, allowing a thread of discussion to make, of course, or to take place and which, of course, can be used online. And we also have the Google Group or Google Form. So it is an application that can be used in collaborative documentation of thoughts, ideas, or concepts contributed by members no? of the team. Again, we have the Skype, the Wiki, the blogging, the Google Group, and or of course, Google Form. Okay. We have also digital literacy skills in the 21st century. Okay. And it actually has broadened in perspectives to include other aspects of the 21st context. So here are, of course, the literacies that we have. The first is cyber literacy or digital literacy. We also have media literacy, the arts and creativity literacy, the financial literacy, and multicultural literacy or global understanding. So thinking on how to apply or use the digital tools, assessing information, and of course, exhibiting ways of working in a globally responsible economic and competitive context together with the skills in the living, in living of first the 21st century refer to the digital literacies that we have. So that's it. So we need to become, of course, digital literate. Another probably definition of digital literacy is, is this. These are, of course, individuals' capabilities to be able to effect truly and sensibly function and execute in, the, in a digital civilization or society. I like the word effectually. No, and sensibly function. And it's actually coined by Paul Glister in 1997, and it came from the discussion of the concepts on, number one, visual literacy. Uh, so it talks about images and non-verbal symbols and that try to capture, of course, the knowledge. Then we have, of course, technological literacy that requires one to be able to use technology in addressing a need. Okay, and we have, of course, computer literacy, which is the ability to use computers and related technology effectively and efficiently with the range of skills covering levels from the basic use to programming and advanced problem solving. And of course, lastly, is information literacy, which refers to the finding, evaluating, using, and sharing of information. Okay, so these are, of course, the concepts that we base, no? the word digital literacy. Let's discuss one by one the digital literacies that we have. So the first is communication and collaboration. So this is, of course, be, being able to communicate and collaborate with each other. Second is we have, of course, digital scholarship. So being able, this is being able to link and take part in professional research practice, no? And um, partly, probably, of course, we, we can have, of course, collaboration, you know, say, of course, research also. And we have ICT literacy is knowing how to choose and use digital services, applications or services to achieve tasks requiring the use of, of course, the internet. Okay, number four is identity management. So it talks about how we can, of course, uh, manage our identity in the social world. Okay, so uh, being able to understand how to guarantee safety is uh, a check. No, and security in managing online identity and, of course, poster a positive digital reputation no, in social media. And information literacy, it's finding information from the web and interpreting while evaluating its legitimacy and validity in order okay, that it can be, of course, shared. Take note of the word legitimacy. It should be legit and, of course, valid no, from validity. Then we have also learning skills. So this is ways of knowing how to study and learn in a technology-enriched environment by knowing how to utilize technology in addressing the need to learn efficiently. Okay, in other words, we need to have, of course, the learning skills. No, it talks about how we're going to learn. 
Okay, and we have also media literacy. It's one's ability to analytically read information or content and utilize multimedia in producing communication creativity. Sometimes this is a problem, no? Our problem is about media literacy. Now we cannot uh, have the ability to analytically read information or the content and utilize multimedia. Okay. We have now the four C's of the 21st century skills. Actually, I like this one. So the four C's, of course, consist of critical thinking, creativity, communication, and, of course, collaboration. And all these skills are essential for our students to do well in school and, of course, succeed in the workstation. Let's have first the first C, which is critical thinking. So this is learning how to solve problems by, of course, seeking the truth. To be critically, of course, no? uh, thinker. It is the ability to distinguish, of course, facts from opinions and not just only learn a set of details or numbers, but also discover these for the sake of finding and knowing what you need to know. And the, third, the second one is, of course, uh, creativity. So this is thinking out of the box. Actually, I'm always encouraging all of you no? okay, to be, of course, creative and to take pride in what is uniquely theirs. And take note, creativity encourages learners to think beyond the beliefs of convention or conventions. Okay, so that's it. Do not do not be afraid no, to make difference, okay, or to be different from others. You need to become creative. The, another C is communication, or the other C is communication. Okay, we have, of course, expressing the ideas in the clearest and organized manner. I like that word clear no? and organized manner. So through varied models like face-to-face, -face, technologically mediated or blended medium, they need to know how to prof proficiently, of course, and evidently convey ideas and information. The last is, of course, collaboration. That is knowing how to work well with others to achieve a given task or to resolve a problem at hand. So uh, it's very, of course, essential no? that students are given a chance to practice how to relate with others and, of course, made to work in a pair or probably by a team. Okay. But other than, of course, these four Cs, we have the addition of citizenship and character. So citizenship is known as, of course, the citizenship in the virtual world. So we are, of course, uh, all the citizens of the virtual world. So making, of course, the person consider how one performs okay, or behaves accordingly by observing, of course, the norms and rules that are in accordance or harmony with what are sociably, practically, and, of course, virtually acceptable. Take note, socially, practically, and virtually acceptable acceptable. So as a result, one is projecting, of course, a reputable digital identity, which is his or her character. So take note of that. Okay. So we have also digital literacy skills versus the dig digital literacy. And of course, uh, the dig digital literacy skills are required not in the digital or wide world. So these skills vary from text to image, images to multimedia. And we have eight digital literacy skills Literacy skills needed to become digitally literate, not according to Link in 2017. So we need to need we need to have a know-how about cloud software, coding, collaboration, information evaluation, personal arch archiving, no screencasting, the use of social media, and of course word processing software for that matter. So let's discuss one by one when we say cloud software. So this is the uh, uh, wherein the cloud is, of course, used to store everything from photos to research projects to term papers and even music. Okay, then we have, of course, coding. It is a universal language, no? Basic understanding by HTML and so on. Then we have, of course, collaboration, which is the use of Google Docs, among others. And we have, of course, information evaluation. Now, So we need to critically think now to remove, of course, fake news in Okay, it's crucial in the 21st century skills. Okay, then we have, of course, the personal archiving. No? Learners should uh, be taught the concepts of metadata. Okay, what about tagging? No? You do tags, right? Keywords and categories. Then we have screencasting. Okay, a screencast is a video recording using, of course, computer screen and usually includes an audio 
taking a picture on the screen or your computer. And this is called print screen. And we have also the use of social media, which you already have known. And we have, of course, the word processing software for that matter. Okay, here are examples of how digital skills or proficiency support digital literacy. So here you can see, of course, some tasks that you can do now in digital skills and even, of course, digital literacy. Okay, let's just have an example. Number four, researching from the World Wide Web. That is a digital skill. But when we say digital literacy, so we need to evaluate the information online, probably by asking, is the site legitimate? No. Is the author an expert? Or is the information current or dated? Or is the idea neutral or biased? Okay. And uh, of course, here are our references uh, for this lesson. I hope you learned something. Okay, for today, and um, you have, of course, additional information, okay, for you to have. So, again, this is Sir A wanted to say thank you so much, and, of course, uh, um, take good care or keep safe, okay. Again, if you have been, of course, subscribed in my YouTube, kindly subscribe, click like, or, of course, heart. And do share. Okay, God bless everybody. Bye-bye. Thank you.